Hello, this is Mike with Trek with Mike, Texas. Uh, early in the morning, I'm going to talk about the Shimano Steps 801 as it is on my A sub tie fly. So I'm going to stop real quick and I'll show you the display that comes with the 801. So here's the display with the 801 as it comes has a time, a clock, it's got, uh, I guess that's, uh, here's range left on the bottom left. I don't have my glasses, so that's why. I'm on profile two, gear nine, manual. So the 801 I have has the DI2, so it can be automatic. Uh, current speed, battery level, lights are on, and, uh, the top is green that shows I'm in level two okay if I go down to one I'll change the light blue there's two three four five six seven okay so I've got seven modes in profile two on the Shimano steps but that's not what I use I use this over here. This is my Bluetooth because this this up front I can't see once the sun comes out, okay? And it's still far away from me, so it's hard to see any otherwise other than uh, basically my range in the miles per hour. But here, this is my phone. So here, and this is fully customizable, and there's multiple different screens of this but you can customize each one of these boxes to whatever you want it to be and there's a ton of choices i don't know them all but i like my speed up here how far i've gone how far how long it's been this here is a map it, it'll map this is my range this is my gearing what i'm in now i'm in nine uh battery overall what's left and what battery mode I'm in in my total odometer so if I go down and, and I've got four buttons down here these top two are for the power assist these bottom two are change gears there's one here on the left that turns the light on and off if I push it the lights off now now the backlight's still on I think Nope, backlight's off. So, but I always ride with them on, at least flashing. Uh, and then the left button here is a power. Now there's a button in the center right here. That'll go manual or automatic mode. And I'll show you that here shortly. But I'm going to move the camera up and hang it over my shoulder so you can see while we're riding what, it, what this is doing, what I'm looking at. Alright, so hopefully we can get zoomed in on this camera or on the phone and you can see what's going on. So, see right now as we're riding along, my distance is changing. It's also mapping it. So I've got it on a map. One of these screens is a map. Uh, it's very similar to ride with GPS. And uh, it maps as you go and it saves it when it's done. Uh, what gear you're in. Now, I ride around in 10th pretty much most of the time. If I have a hill, I'll go down to 9. Now, I usually stay usually about in 2 on the power. You saw it change from blue to green. So that's 1. Then there's also off where you're just pedaling and not using any. Um, but then one, and I, I ride in two. If it's a bigger hill, I might bump it to three. Um, or if I know I'm at the end of a ride, I'll bump it to three. Uh, just a kind of cool down period, right? Come at the end. Um, I always like 
20 or more miles of riding and uh, so today's will be about 40 right around there maybe a little under but uh, and then my range and you can see the range difference so starting out in level one with a fully charged battery it shows 116 miles okay so uh, but now I show 87 in first gear and I've gone 17 miles basically so that's the difference between one and two two is taken off that many more additional miles than one would have if I'd stayed in one and so currently so the the distance is the difference is right now two is at 53 this is miles remaining three three is 41 four 36 five 29 Or six is 27 and seven is 24 so go back down to two because I don't want to I know in like any battery the closer you get to empty the quicker the miles go um, But the Shimano Steps 801. Now, the reason I got the 801 was this right here. Okay, I didn't offer it. I saw. I still don't think they offer it. They're with the eight. And the eight's limited. The eight doesn't have the Bluetooth. It doesn't have the different modes profiles. This one is profile two. The profile ones more like the uh, standard ice out of the box you know three profiles eco trail and boost uh, this one profile two is factory set with with seven settings and, and that's enough for me but you can add profiles up to 15 individual settings for the profiles so it's highly customizable uh, to whatever you want. On your left. Good morning. So let's talk else about this mono step. So this thing has an automatic mode. So if I change here this gear let's see if I find the button okay it should be an automatic mode now yes so you saw it shift to nine that was not me that was it doing it itself and we'll go up this uh, there's a big giant hill up here we'll keep it in automatic till then so normally I might go down to seven on that big hill but I'd stay ten everywhere else right um, but this we're, we're gonna see what it does because it does it by itself and I don't really like it um, I think it shifts too much But let's just we're gonna play with it anyway So it just it shifted to eight for me. I didn't do that Shifted it shifted back to nine. It's doing all this and this is why I don't like it it's constantly changing. Up oh, there we go to 10. Up oh, there we go to 9. Say it's bullshit. Sorry for the language, but you know. That's that's what I don't like about the Shimano Steps DI2. Now, it's do it's sensing something to do that. You know, there's slight elevation changes here, very slight. I think it's wanting you to maintain a certain cadence and 
that's not how I'm out here riding. Some people may ride that. They want certain cadence to not interrupt their, their going. Me, I'm out here to enjoy everything. There we go back to eight. Now there's a big giant hill. Let's go see what it does. I don't... I've got a different way to go. I don't have to do this big hill if I don't want. Um, but it, it's hunting around. We'll get up the hill and then we're going to abandon this because it's driving me nuts. Um, but for video purposes and so you guys know. Now, with the DI2, Do I think it's needed? I don't think it's needed. I think if you get the 801, and if you don't want, you don't need the DI2. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if there's different gears or mechanisms or anything uh, different, or if it's just the auto shifting part, right? So it's shifting, now we're down to four. Now we're down to three. Up, there we go to two. Four, it's total crap. Uh, me on this side be at best in six. Uh, with a, the better start, I mean, I, I can't turn it to six now because I'm in mid mid going up. So it's got me down to four. And see, I'll slow down my cadence on purpose. Yeah, I think it's cadence based. I'm at two. Let's see if it goes to one. Slow it down on purpose. Oh, well, it's not going to go to one. Interesting. Oh, it went to one. Now it bumps up to three because I sped up the cadence. Yeah, so it has it with the DI2. Um, do you want it? That's up to you. Um, I don't want it. Uh, get me out of this mode. All right, so now it's a mic shifting time. The only other thing I'd have to... If I had a gripe, and this is not really relevant to anything. Um, there's an awful lot of gears that I never use. One through six, I pretty much never use. Um, now, I think if I had hills like that back there a lot, I'd want those lower gears, the lower numbers, uh, just to climb, but uh, where I ride, you know, I have a few hills like that. I still ride in seven or whatnot when I go up those. It's still shifting for me. Getting it out of that mode is the hard part. Let's see if it stays. All right, we're going to move the camera back up all right this is Mike with Trike with Mike Texas we're going to go through the gears here see how fast I can pedal in each gear so I'm in first gear so let's go see how fast I can go and my feet are going too fast and I'm going 7.7 .7 miles per hour. 
books. Don't know what happened. My system, I hit a button and it rebooted. Hey look, 1500 miles. I'll, uh, all right. All right. First gear, uh, six and a half. Let's say six and a half. Second gear, eight. Third gear, 10. Fourth gear, 11 and a half. Fifth gear, 13.7. Sixth gear, 14.4 Seventh gear 15.8 Eighth gear 17.2 Ninth gear 20.6 and 10th gear that I'm worn out but I can get 23 without a hill in 10th gear so uh, like I said I wore myself out 